Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Friday morning mountain weather update. Let's go to radar first. Here's our storm system finally making its move out of New Mexico and into Colorado. And you can see what it's doing. It's pushing that whole shield of snow up I-25 towards Denver and the Front Range. Heavy snow over the eastern plains. All of this, along with an easterly and northeasterly wind, will help to drive snow production and upslope flow up against the, uh, the base of the foothills of Denver, the Palmer Divide. And that'll run all the way up to the Continental Divide towards Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Summit County. So we'll look at all of that. But that's the snow. It's on the move here this morning. A couple of cameras. So here's Loveland Ski Area. It's pretty cloudy. There's a couple of snow showers. But the snow will be intensifying up there, especially by this afternoon, tonight, and Saturday morning. I think that's really going to be the prime time. And I've got um, a snow forecast just for Loveland coming up here in a second. Um, this is the view up on Pikes Peak. At over 14,000, it has been snowing and blowing up there on Pikes, and that snow will also ramp up um, as today wears on. And we could be looking at a couple of feet up there potentially on top of uh, Pikes Peak. So this is going to be a, a big storm system for parts of Colorado, just like it was for uh, northern New Mexico. All right, here is the lay of the land on the water vapor. Drier air aloft is in the oranges and the reds. And your moisture is right here. You can see our area of low pressure sitting right over the panhandle. It's a panhandle hook type of storm, so it's at, and it's really going to move north as opposed to like east-northeast. So as it does, it's going to bring that snow right up the front range and wrap that, uh, that snow back around over the top of Denver, the foothills, the front range, the I-25 corridor. Now behind it, big storm system spinning up here. It will send energy out ahead of it. The cold front that moves in next is actually looking just a little bit better than it did last night when I did my update. So numbers went back up just a touch. And then the low behind it will also be a big player in the extended forecast. So here's my latest snow timeline for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, New Mexico, and Tahoe in California and the Sierra. So, for example, in Colorado, snow today and tomorrow. Moderate to heavy accumulations depending on your location. If you're west of the Continental Divide, you're going to get less accumulation. If you're on the Divide and east, you will get more. Um, another shot of snow with that cold front on 1112, moderate accumulations, and another shot of snow 1116 and 1117. Um, looks like moderate accumulations there. Um, Tahoe, you've got moderate to heavy on 1111 and moderate on 1115. All right, I want to show you this video uh, from yesterday. This is from my friend, uh, my good friend uh, John Kodrowski, who's a uh, mountaineer, mountain guide. He was up on Quandry Peak. Oh, it's the top of Quandry today. Get some clients of his up there doing some And training. it's snowy. Tomer, I'd say your forecast is right on the money, buddy. There you go. Thanks for your help, uh, man. It's great to see you. Trying to pop that one on the edge of the storms. I hope they had a good time. That was Quandary Peak, a 14er uh, near Breckenridge. Uh, it was socked in yesterday, but they had a nice break, at least in the morning, where they could go up and get that in before the next round of snow came in. And let me just show you what it looks like. So this is the time height for humidity in the atmosphere uh, for Arapaho Basin. So up there on the Continental Divide at 10,000 plus, you, and this is a time slice, uh, high, uh, so you can see the, the moisture in the atmosphere, which is in green, that's the higher humidity um, throughout the, all the vertical layers of the atmosphere. The timeline is at the bottom, you actually read that from right to left. So you can see how the green is there. It's there today, this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow morning. Then, tomorrow afternoon, we start to dry out. The drier air moves in on the chart. You can see that with the yellows and the oranges, and it stays dry for the rest of the weekend. So the key time frame for a lot of Colorado is now through tomorrow morning. Um, some snow forecasts here. So this is actually for Arapaho Basin. This is a snow forecast, uh, and you can see, and I agree with this. All these that I show you, I'm going to agree with. Otherwise, I wouldn't even include them in my forecast. But uh, about, about eight inches of snow on the way for Arapaho Basin. And again, that happens mainly midday today, afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow morning. You can see that with the blue bars. So that's Arapaho Basin, about eight. Um, Loveland Ski Area. About 9, maybe 10 inches over at Loveland. And you can see it actually snows for a little bit longer over at Loveland. So you could pick up an extra inch or two at Loveland. Um, Vail Pass, good example of less snow west of the continental divide. You're still going to get some, about 6 inches over Vail Pass. Probably 6, 7, 8 inches down in Summit County. But as you go west, less accumulation, but there is still going to be some. And a lot of the accumulation there happens tonight and throughout the morning tomorrow with kind of the wraparound effect over the top of the storm. Now, here's Denver. Um, most of the snow here happens midday today, afternoon tonight, and early tomorrow morning, looking for about 8, 9, 
inches or so, and this is at DIA, maybe 10 inches, but eight or nine is, is really my sweet spot. So um, eight or nine for a lot of the DIA Denver metro area. Um, the Eastern Plains and areas south over the Palmer Divide will get more than this. You're going to get probably 10, 12 inches or so, maybe even more in those areas above 6,000 feet. All right, here's the jet stream forecast. So by close of business uh, today, you can see the area of low pressure uh, with the jet support over Colorado. Uh, by tomorrow morning, it's moving away at that point. But some wraparound snow over the top, that's when areas in the northern mountains will have your best shot of snow, like Steamboat, Cameron Pass. Um, your snow will continue into the morning hours and probably kind of trickling down over Vail Pass and the Gore Range as well, maybe even the Summit County. Um, so that's in the morning. In the afternoon, storm is gone. Here comes the next cold front. This is, you can see the dip in the jet moving from the Pacific Northwest in BC into the Inner Mountain, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. So 11, 11, 11, 12, shot of snow comes through the Inner Mountain. Then that moves on by. And then the next storm system loads up and it digs pretty far to the south. This is the one that will probably snow on the Sierra, Tahoe, Mammoth, uh, Shasta. And you can see the dip in the jet. And that one then cruises into the interior through 1116, affecting Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Colorado through 1116 and 1117. All right, looking at the forecast radar and the satellite. Um, so this is uh, by 530 this afternoon. That's going to be your radar image uh, with snow in blue over the top of most of Colorado, including the Denver metro area. Snow moving out of northern New Mexico. Uh, by Saturday morning, the low is spinning out over the plains, and so that wraps snow back around a lot of the mountain areas of Colorado, the northern mountains, all the way down to I-70, still snowing in the morning in Denver. And then things start to fade by the afternoon. The drier air starts to move in, just like on that time height chart I showed you. All that drier air begins to move in, and the, the low moves away. The wind changes direction, dries the air out orographically. And then we're in the waiting game, and here comes that cold front. Here's 11:12 in the morning, snow for Idaho, Montana, the Tetons, Wyoming of uh, Wyoming, and into Utah, and then it moves into Colorado, 11:12 uh, in the afternoon. You can see the snow still snowing back in parts of Wyoming and Utah, and then it's gone. Here comes that next storm system hitting the northern tier, and also Tahoe. Look at the blue over the top of the Sierra, 11:15, 11:6, then it moves away into the interior on 11-16, so this, and then another storm system by 11-17 in the Pacific Northwest. So this active pattern is not going away. It, it just keeps kind of recycling and reestablishing itself. Um, so really, here's the big picture. I was pretty granular with those snow forecasts for specific locations uh, and the point forecast, but this is more, uh, you know, 30,000 foot looking down over the west. So all of today through tomorrow, the big stuff is in Colorado, northern New Mexico. You can see the numbers. They're basically what we talked about from many of those locations um, that I pinpointed. So that's, again, today through tomorrow. Anywhere in pink purple is, is over a foot, and there are some of those places in Colorado. Okay, the second time period accounts for a cold front and at least one, maybe even two storm systems. That's why the numbers are so big up in the Pacific Northwest and BC, because you may have two solid storm systems affecting that area with, you know, in the pink purples, a foot or more. You could be looking at one, two, three feet of snow in some places. High Cascades, BC, higher peaks. Um, Idaho does well with that flow. Is, we could be looking at 10 to 12, maybe more uh, inches of snow. Uh, six to eight for the Tetons. Um, may have to bring those numbers up in the Wasatch. May have to bring those numbers up, but this is 1110 through 1117. Um, one to two, very conservative. Uh, I, I think maybe in the next update, we'll see what the cold front looks like, and I may bring those numbers up. In Colorado, one to four, uh, potentially some pretty good numbers there over the, uh, the Sierra if uh, things pan out, if the storm track holds for that area. Um, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this Friday morning mountain weather update. This was a little bit longer of an update, but um, I think it's well worth it considering everything that we've got going on. Again, um, the granular forecast here, Arapahoe Basin, about, about eight inches on the way this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow morning. Loveland Ski Area, about nine, maybe ten uh, between this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow. Vail Pass, about six inches of snow on the way, and the Denver metro area, about eight, nine inches of snow. All right, guys, take care and have a great Friday.